good morning. Um, I hope you can just about make me out. I'm out here at uh, Lake Bonnie today, but today uh, I suppose is a little special in terms of uh, this episode in that uh, I've partnered up with an absolutely awesome um, photographer from Ireland uh, called uh, Darren J. Spoonley and I'll, I'll pop up a link to his, uh, to his channel in the description below and if I can do it I'll, I'll try and do one up here. Um, an amazing photographer, um, as crazy into seascapes and all things photography as I am and uh, what we've decided to do is to try and do this weird little collaboration today uh, whereby he's going to shoot into twilight which is about an hour after sunset um, in Ireland I think it's the, the Skellings he's doing um, also known as uh, now known as uh, Luke Skywalker's home um, Darren will be shooting um, from um, sunset into um, civil um, twilight nautical twilight and then I'll pick up on the other side of the world I'm in Australia so that'll be a nautical to civil to sunrise um, so we're going to follow the sun you, you catch me here on the edge of uh, of Lake Bonnie uh, running an eight minute exposure uh, we've come to photograph this group of trees and just in that foreground there there's a uh, an interesting stump that I've photographed before I know that Darren is off um, shooting on the other side of the world. Uh, his light will be fading as mine is rising. And the transition should be in about 20 minutes when the light on his side of the world, which is in Ireland, uh, will be the same as the light on my side of the world um, uh, here in Australia. So we're, we're working on the transition there. He's working on his last light and I'm working on the first light here. before so eight minutes as soon as I'm able to get back out of this mud <coughs> right come on Raf hey out of there come on out out hey hey get out get out you smelly little thing eight minutes F13 and let's, uh, let's go and find Rafi a stick or something uh, because he's, he's getting a little bored. Just thought I'd give my buddy a call on the other side of the world, but um, his connection's poor, so uh, we'll leave that for now. There's not a sniff of, of cloud anywhere else, uh, but we seem to have just a little bit lingering way out there on the horizon that's caught that light turned it into a beautiful soft box um, glowing as you can see pinks and orange so hey <laughs> I will take I will take that um, gratefully in the way it's uh, it's been given now that I can appear back in a video without being a ghostly silhouette um, almost appearing like a Jacob Marley. You may notice he's got one of these little collars on that glow in the dark. Uh, because of his fondness of water, he's actually uh, ruined a couple by dunking his head under the water to pick up a stone or a stick and uh, promptly fried the circuits. Um, thankfully, it's, uh, it's only a tiny little battery, so it's not going to zap him. But it costs me all the same, don't you, sunshine? Hey, come on, up the bank, up the bank. Okay, we might have overcooked this one because that light, uh, the colour was intensifying. It's now starting to fade, as you can see. Um, eight minutes might have been a touch too long. Certainly hope not.
just see how deep that side is. Just want to make sure that that, yep, is okay. That way. There's a light coming under that um, stump. It's just absolutely lovely, which is part of the attraction of this composition to me. Is that, that stump and the light that's working through it. Um, but this one I think will definitely uh, require a filter. I'd have to move a little quicker for this. difference in light and darks here quite extreme so I'm actually putting on two grads in an attempt to keep that down and that's given him uh, given us I think 10 seconds let's test that out 10 seconds. So Darren, I hope you're having, uh, hope you're having an awesome time. I think uh, seeing as I'm getting the sun, I think you'll be in complete darkness now, probably starting to pack up and head home. Um, so thanks for the light. Um, we were lucky, as I said before, is that we have got a touch of high wispy cloud out there, which was completely unexpected. Um, so for that, I'm grateful. Um, your, your location looked absolutely amazing. Um, so I'm really looking forward to seeing what you've what you put together and again um, the last of your light uh, appears over here as the first of our lights so. okay now I don't know whether whoops a daisy this is this bank's very very um, dodgy that looks rather nice that does look good um, as I said, we've got this um, beautiful stump coming in uh, from the left-hand side, but unfortunately it goes directly into that tree that's just there. So I'm wondering um, if I need to just back up a touch, just come up a touch higher to get that little degree of separation between the two. And now, of course, it's about trying to secure uh, this uh, tripod leg so we may need to play around with this slightly this composition slightly to get it right the bank is very bouncy which is is really not ideal uh, when you're trying to set up a composition like this it's on a two second timer i may need to increase that um, because i've got to move out the way now that's better um, and the sun's about to broach so that looks close i'll probably knock it down just to 50 seconds and a step back, hit that, 
and hopefully shakes eliminated and that's what we'll get. I'll show you the difference between the two. The first composition I didn't take enough due care and attention on and this stump actually leads into um, the shadow and maybe even the trunk of this uh, this uh, tree that, that you see before you, the one that's in the centre frame. And it just um, it just sort of blends into one. Um, whereas for this, you, you, want, you do want a degree of separation. So each, each aspect of the image has its own individual identity and, uh, and character. Um, when it blends into one, it just sort of becomes like a, a, a blob. Um, so fingers crossed, I, I think that's better. Um, I like that. Um, it'd be interesting, interested to see what you've got to say, um, but I think that's a, a stronger composition. just going to spin it and I'm going to take a single shot going back this way with that sun in the frame. I'm going to have to shift slightly this way. I'm just going to grab that sun as it's behind that tree over there so we don't need that three stop anymore. Pop into I put your priority to get a reading saying uh, 1.3 for the second. Give that one quick fire off, see what that looks like. And we can go higher than that to capture some of the shadows. So let's pop it down for the shadows, probably about a second. That sun's in and around that tree. So I'm also just gonna check that, make sure we've got those shadows. I think I'm gonna pop it up to the two seconds. Actually about two and a half seconds. Cause the light on that grass is very pretty. So I'll capture that. Yeah, that's nice. Even though the, sky, the, the sun's blown out, but that's all right. We'll go back down to a second. And I go up to F22. See if we can get a sun start. I don't think we will. It's worth a go. Okay, thank you everybody for joining me here uh, today at Lake Bonnie. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed the crossover from um, Darren's um, no doubt absolutely awesome video onto this um, bag of crap. But hey, I've had an absolutely wonderful morning. Um, Rafi's still enjoying himself, uh, throwing himself in and out of the water. Um, I love this little stump, I love photographing it and uh, as you know I love photographing in twilight so uh, wherever you are um, please stay safe, look after you, look after your loved ones and uh, until next time I'll see you, bye.